Hello, today we're looking at classification of plants. Before we look at plants, this is a quick diagram for animal um, classification. As you can see, animals can be classified as vertebrates or invertebrates. If it's a vertebrate, that means it has a backbone. And invertebrate animals do not have a backbone. So here is a range of animals that do have a backbone on the bottom of the screen. How do we classify plants? All plants are classified with, into two groups, plants without seeds and plants with seeds. These plants here are called mosses. They have weak roots, thin and delicated leaves, so they're quite um, fragile in structure. Ferns have a strong stems, roots and leaves, so they are quite firm in the ground. And they're quite, um, as he says, the stems are quite strong as well, as well as the leaves. Got conifers, they have do not have any flowers or seeds, um, um, and they just produce cones. And finally, you got the flowering plants, which are the normal plants you see around that have flower on them. Further classification of plants can be done using the vascular tissue, which is the veins in the plant, these lines here. These um, leaves are monocotyledal because a leaf has parallel veins in here. Can you see these lines going straight downwards? And these leaves are called dicotyledal, and what they mean is the plant has a wider leaf um, with broad range of veins, and these are like quite um, gaps in between each other. Uh, you can see that, and can further classify plants um, according to if they produce flowering seeds or they produce spores and so on. It is a quick video on classification of plants, mainly for key stage T is three which is year seven and eight students. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe.